Hey everyone, this is Mason and you're listening to the Herb Rally Podcast. Uh, before we get into the show, uh, this is day three. I, I don't need to make this announcement every single time, but just to let you know, I'm trying to release one episode every day in the month of February 2022, so that'll be 28 episodes this month, uh, so that's fun. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to let you know that there's two giveaways happening this month. Uh, that's one for the Herb Rally Schoolhouse. And I gave in-depth details on that last episode. So if you want to hear about that first giveaway, it's for a gift basket of worth $210. Um, or you could go to herbrally.com slash schoolhouse. Uh, at the top of the screen, you'll see the, the rules on how to enter to win there. So uh, the other giveaway is for Kat Meyer's book, Energetic Herbalism. And in the show notes to today's episode, I'll, I'll let you know how to enter to win. Just kind of wanted to keep the intro short and sweet today. Uh, today's episode is a short little snippet from Missy Rose's Hawthorne class. It's a 30-minute Hawthorne class on our new Herb Rally Schoolhouse. So one more time to check out details on that, go to herbrally.com slash schoolhouse. So yeah, today's show is a very, very short snippet of it. Uh, if you want to hear the full thing, check out how you can register for the first 30 days for free of the Herb Rally Schoolhouse either in last episode or at the website I mentioned. Link will be in the show notes as well. And one more thing before we get into the show, I just want to let you know that I took Missy Rose and her co-school owner, Grady Proctor's uh, apprenticeship in Portland, Oregon. It's called the Arcto School of Herbal and Botanical Studies. And if you're in the Portland area, the Portland, Oregon area, and you're looking for a, an awesome apprenticeship to take, definitely check them out. Uh, you could go to their website, arctoschool.org. But yeah, I can't recommend it enough. You'll learn botany, ecology, herbalism, herbal medicine making, all the above. Uh, check them out, arctoschool.org. Missy's an awesome teacher, and you'll get to hear that right here, at least for a few minutes, to get the full class, herbrally.com slash schoolhouse. All right, that's going to do it for the intro today. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. One of the things I love about Hawthorne is that in my area, it grows so rampantly everywhere. Um, I have to weed baby Crataegus starts out of my garden each year. And so it's super fun because the berries on the tree get eaten by birds and the birds go and sit somewhere, whether it's in my garden or on a fence somewhere, poop out the berries, and then there's more hawthorn everywhere. And it pro provides great forage for birds, but also really abundant habitat for other animals as well. And let's see, hawthorn trees, that English hawthorn, Crataegus monogyna, can take so many different forms. Sometimes it grows as a pretty big tree, like very huggable, with really sturdy, solid wood and can take that tree format of just one solid trunk and growing up to 30 feet tall or so. Um, other times, hawthorn will grow as a shrub and it will just fit into whatever ecosystem niche it can and it'll grow multiple different woody stems from a base and just kind of be more spindly and sprawling and all over the place. And so it's very adaptable. It's very um, amenable to just working with what it's got. And so you can find it in different people's backyards planted deliberately. You can also find it growing in natural areas or in vacant lots on the sides of roads. And if you can find a nice place that's a little further from traffic, um, you can have an abundant source of medicine every year. And Hawthorne's really generous because it gives us two different opportunities to make medicine out of its parts. Right around May Day, right around May 1st, which is also a pagan holiday of Beltane, um, Hawthorne will come to bloom. And those blossoms, which look like little tiny dried flower arrangements from far away. They're very adorable and cute. Um, and kind of the blossoms themselves can be anywhere from bright white to like a dark pink. When those flowers bloom, that's a great time to go hang out by Hawthorne and take a while and just sit with it um, before thinking about harvesting. So. Part of Hawthorne's association with that holiday of May Day is that 
It will give refuge to fairies, which if you're the kind of person who sees fairies, keep your eyes peeled. It will also um, be just a symbol of fertility and fecundity and abundance and like sensuality. Um, so it goes along with that part of that Beltane holiday of celebrating that like height of raw sensuality of blossoming and reproduction. Um, and I also really love to associate it with the more labor associated holiday of May Day where people are just taking power from the ground up and creating new worlds and projecting new beautiful visions out there to come to reality. Because Hawthorne is, again, just like so um, willing to work with what it's got and willing to be blossoming and thriving in the conditions that it gets. So um, yeah, I think that works really well together. But anyways, that's a great time to just sit and spend some time with Hawthorne and see what comes to you. See if those thoughts start to percolate for you. See if you have any visions of what that all means to you and how it looks like in your life. Um, whether it's just celebrating that you can take pleasure in things like nature and flowers and gorgeous spring days or whether that means that like you also need to um, work with what you've got and band together with your buddies and create a better world. And that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks so much for listening to the Herb Rally podcast. Uh, before you go, I wanted to let you know about seven herbal freebies uh, that you could get from Herb Rally. If you want to check them out, just go to herbrally.com. In the top navigation area, you'll see uh, it says freebies. Just click on that. Uh, it'll take you to a page where you can sign up for our newsletter. Uh, and we send around one to four newsletters per week, uh, updating you about herbalism events, uh, new podcasts, monographs, YouTube videos. You get the idea. Uh, but a little more about the seven herbal freebies. Uh, that's a video with Bevan Clare. It's called Five Herbal Events Around the World. Kind of like a herbalism bucket list, if you will. Uh, it also comes with an ebook by Rosalie de la Foyer on calendula. It's an 86 page ebook uh, provided exclusively to Herb Rally, created by Plant Healer Magazine. Uh, it also comes with an hour long adaptogens class. That's that's an audio MP3 by herbalist Heather Irvine. Also comes with a 36 page book excerpt, also from Plant Healer. It's called Nourishing Foods. It's awesome. And then it comes with two discounts 15% off all Mountain Rose Herbs products and 10% off the Herb Rally store. Uh, so, one more time to check that out go to herbrally.com. And uh, the top navigation area, you'll see something that says freebies. Just click on there and you'll get more info about that. Okay, I will talk to you later. Have a great day.